Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And put a fork in him. I think BuzzFeed is done. Yeah, it looks that way. Uh, it's not looking too good. This this was uh, posted on the Intelligencer the other day, talking about BuzzFeed's problems and giving kind of an overview of their history. And we've, we've been covering BuzzFeed because they were the biggest success story in digital media, along with Vice and Vox. And now all of those companies are hard up for cash, uh, on the verge of bankruptcy, or they've already filed for bankruptcy. Well, part of that is because when they were big, there was lots of venture capital. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that because basically what happened with BuzzFeed, if you've ever watched the WeWork documentary, it was always about fooling investors into giving you more money. And that was your business model. Oh, look, we're growing, 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 give us more money. And I think that uh, investors have finally figured out that these blogs are money losing propositions. Uh, yeah, we talked about, um, what was it, uh, uh, Reese Witherspoon's blog, oh, Hell, yeah. of Hell of Sunshine or whatever. Yeah. They paid like $900 million, not BuzzFeed, but uh, Candle Media paid like $900 million. And it, it, it was only making like a tenth of, of what they paid for it. And BuzzFeed used to be like the biggest fish out there. But that was when, again, there was tons of venture capital. They used to be able to promote heavily on Facebook. And like all of their revenue streams have dried up, even probably even the vibrators that they were selling, the BuzzFeed. I know, yeah, they had their, their line sex of sex toys, toys and, and cookware called Tasty, but not to be confused. Yeah, and their YouTube channels have kind of dried up, like nobody's really talking about it. Or people would jump ship, like the Try Guys, I think they were on BuzzFeed and they'd jump ship and then they had a scandal or something. So it's it's not looking good. This is end stage BuzzFeed. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com, pick up a copy of Crimson Wren or previously on Clownfish TV. Uh, these books are in stock. They're shipping. Geeky is packing them up every day. Mm -hmm. uh, she's very tired packing very books tired. up, but uh, four days, four days left, guys. Um, thank you for the support. So I, I think let's go out and look at the stock. I'm just going to leave that sit there. Yeah. Oh, at, with the article we're going to cover said it was 26 cents a share and it's dropped since then. I think since that oh, article oh, oh, came out. 26 again. Okay. Oh, oh we're getting out of there. Me. So for those of you who don't remember, BuzzFeed about a year, year and a half ago, they uh, went in with a, a SPAC, which is basically they went public. And um, I think the shares started at like $10 a share. And they thought they were going to get all kinds of money to save BuzzFeed. And uh, they expected $300 million. And they wound up getting like $16 million because a bunch of investors pulled out. And ever since then, it's just been a freaking downward spiral. And it got so bad they had to shut their news down, which is weird because yeah. BuzzFeed News is one of the few things that was actually performing, but they, they couldn't afford to pay them anymore. And now here we are. And they're saying they bought uh, Complex, which is, I guess, a bunch of sports sites, and they overpaid for it. And now the bill is coming due in 2024, and they don't have the money. At How all. much did they pay for? Do you know? Uh, I don't remember. We'll, we'll have to look and see. I think it was 150 million. No, 300 million. Yeah, it was for rap nerds. Okay, I'm they, sorry. They paid 300 million. 300 million. Okay, and then they're going to try to sell it for 100 million. Yeah, uh, Buzzfeed That's had. That's how mouth works. Buzzfeed had to borrow 150 million uh, on top of what they paid for it. I thought it was kind of weird. I'm like, wait a second. All these blogs are are dying and you're paying through the nose for more blogs. I think they bought the, yeah, they bought the Huffington Post too. Remember the Huffington Post? That was another one that went poof. Yeah. So they bought that. I and then the Huffington Post deal was, a, was all stock. It was all, yeah, it was all stock. And that, did, that didn't work out well for anyone. It didn't, no, it did not. And I know a lot of the journalists there were complaining and then Buzzfeed flat out said they were going to start using AI for its articles. And then they shut down the newsroom and it was like, what the hell are you doing? And then they said that their monetization strategy, I remember this, it was so stupid. Their monetization strategy was Amazon referral links and like sex toys and mm -hmm. stuff and tasty and products. Tasty. And it's like, none of that is worth anything. And, uh, you know, a mom and pop blog, uh, they can use Amazon referral links. Like what, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah, this article here on Intelligencer says that BuzzFeed, once a media industry success story, a shining example of the social Internet in action, faces a very uncertain future. As a public company, almost nothing has gone to plan. The SPAC cash dwindled from almost $290 million to about $16 million. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was like right before they went yes. public. 
because they're like, oh, yeah, we got like 300 million coming in. And then everybody's like, yeah, this is a really dumb idea. We're not going to do it. And I think I think them going public is actually what set off the dominoes that everybody started bailing on these digital media sites because they're like, nobody wants to pay for this shit. When you actually have to put real money behind it and not just monopoly money or because, you know, this social media platform and that social media platform said and they actually can see the actual numbers like, oh, shit, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Don't pretty, do that. pretty much. Yeah. Uh, they said that the social media networks that BuzzFeed relied on for large, uh, large share of its traffic pivoted to different kinds of content. Basically, yeah, Facebook, a lot of these sites grew, uh, kind of par parasitic fashion on the back of Facebook. And then Facebook decided, Hey, we don't like sending traffic to other sites when we can monetize people right here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make it really hard for you to send people to Facebook. In fact, if you post a link to a blog in Facebook, it'll be like, you sure you want to leave Facebook? There might be malware on that site. Mm, oh, maybe. Trust me, there's lots of crap on Facebook. There is, yeah, yeah. We can't track you if you go there. We can't track you. We can't We can't sell to you if you go there. Yeah, so that's kind of what happened. They said investors fled. It drove down the company's stock price by 98% in the overall market value to a tiny $37 million. There's, uh, yeah, so now the complex deal is what they're talking about. They said that they still owe, let's see, uh, the debt from complex Almost two hundred million dollars with interest. It's due December third of, of, of this year. Yeah, they're talking about they might be trying to sell it, building for like a hundred million. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no way they can do it. They said BuzzFeed does not have this kind of money. The company holds forty-two million in cash, according to its last quarterly report. On top of that, it carries thirty-three point eight million dollars in other debt. So it's got thirty-three million in other debt on top of what it owes for Complex. In a situation like this, a Wall Street banker would come in and just tell them they need to start selling off assets. But they said that they're already trying to sell off Complex, yeah, for $100 million. That's $50 million shy of what Pretty was hoping for. That's still like a third of what they paid for it. Yeah, they paid $300 million. They had, I guess they had $150. They fronted for it. And then they borrowed another $150 million. But yeah, so they're not even going to get their money. I mean, they're losing money. Like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, to, to get close to what they need um, and how they're going to keep the company intact and operating is an open question. I don't think they can. I don't think they can either. I think it's over. You know, they said the most straightforward remaining option, according to analysts, is probably keep selling off assets. But who's going to buy them? They've got First we, first we Feast, Hot Ones. Hot Ones is actually pretty good, though. That's the, that's the show where they eat the hot wings and I, they answer questions. Yeah, but okay. Again, those are like YouTube things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, this isn't like, it's not like you have an actual IP, like, uh, you know, like a Star Wars or something that you can sell to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it doesn't. They can sell Tasty. Th they, they've got puzzles that are branded Tasty, but it's just a, like a puzzle of a pizza no, but they, or something. But they sell, no, but they sell cookware and stuff too. Yeah. At but, Walmart. <laughs> okay, a successful recipe. Food. So yeah, they could sell that, I guess. But like, none of this stuff is like unique. You know what I'm saying? Like, none of what BuzzFeed has is unique. It's not like okay, this we're the only ones who make this particular widget, or we're the only ones who have this particular TV show or movie friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, anybody can start a cookware company. Anybody can you know, start a YouTube show about eating spicy wings or whatever. This next paragraph is interesting to me. Okay. They said it's possible that BuzzFeed can be taken over by a, a different kind of investor, investor, a private equity company, because their losses could be attractive to the private equity company. A company that's shredding money still has value, but not the kind that anyone in news or journalism is thinking about because if they lost money as part of a larger conglomerate, they can ca call it a tax shelter and not a news operation. Yeah. So they said that they be might be interested in picking them up because they're losing money. They can say, "Oh, we're trying to we're trying to save it. Let it keep failing," and be like, "Tax shelter." That actually is, I think, what is going to happen with a lot of these. But then, what's going to ultimately happen is all these journalists and stuff that you have there, they're going to get rid of them. They're not going to. Too many companies do that. The, the eventually, people are going to start like governments are going to be like, "Hey, you know what? Maybe it's time to change those rules." You know? Yeah, like you can't keep buying these obviously failing companies because there's no. Like if the company, like there's no path forward to profitability, they're going to be like, you can't just do this indefinitely, you know? Then the next paragraph, they said just what you said. It's like they, the, the market's changed. They can't, they, Facebook doesn't drive traffic because they don't, they, they try to keep you on Facebook. They don't let you leave. Yeah. 
And TikTok, well, they could get on TikTok, but, you know. But who cares? Because you're competing with individuals. Again, everything that BuzzFeed did and a lot of the creators that they had, again, going back to like the Try Guys and stuff like that, they went out on their own. You know, that I mean, that's what I was kind of like, you know, we were looking at the video yesterday. They were talking about Matt Pat and how he's he's stepping down from the you know game theory and movie theory Not and the values loss. theory, theory and all that. But I'm like. There's really at that point, there's nothing unique about it because anybody can do it. You know, anybody can do theory videos. Uh, he just happened to have the market kind of cornered on that because he was there first and he got, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you take him out of the equation and you put other people in. I don't think it's going to work. It's n- People not, will watch it for him. Yeah. Nothing they're doing is unique. They had a creator network of 180 freelancers. They said in the spring about that time, the news division shut down. So they were using freelancers instead of full timers because some of these people were, I, I, I read it like BuzzFeed and Vice and Vox. They were getting like. Hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars a year to write garbage articles for Facebook, you know, and then they're probably having their spa days and their massage days and mm-hmm. their their uh, you know three hour lunches and all that shit, and it's it's over. Um, they so said, they yeah, this is what happened. Private, to they said they could bring it private again, but they'd have to buy out the stock and pay off the creditors, and they said it wouldn't be much more expensive because you know. The stock's not worth much. That's it. I mean, at this point, you are better off at BuzzFeed. Like, this is what happened with some of these other sites, too. They had one that was called Mike, and it was worth, like, they were trying to say a billion dollars valuation or some bullshit like that. And they sold it for five million bucks. Mm-hmm. You know, Aston, Aston Kutcher bought uh, MySpace, didn't he? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so he bought just like out of pocket, just like bought MySpace and turned it into a music site. So these sites basically get to a point where they're like, you could have an individual come on Tumblr. Tumblr sold for $3 million. Well, at the point, it becomes that even though the content's declining, the name still has value because it's recognizable. Yeah. Um, and it already has infrastructure set up. So it, in, in a way, that, that does save you a lot of money. Oh, you yeah, want to because start your own thing. Yeah, because that's why I think that the one company, Pace, bought. They shut Jezebel down, then they bought Jezebel, and I think the reason they bought Jezebel was it was easier to just buy that one. They already had the domain weight and the links and all that. And some people, yeah, they could. They could technically just somebody come in and pay, you know, a couple hundred million dollars just to buy the BuzzFeed name and turn it into something else. I think they bought Jezebel so they could run a bunch of political crap yeah. on it next year and then dump it again. That's my opinion. Oh, I'm sure. And that's what's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of like dumping. But I could see somebody being like, yeah, let's just give them a hundred million dollars for BuzzFeed. We'll turn it into some stupid NFT site or some crap like that and make a quick buck. And and that's it. You know, as long as they get their money back, that's all they give a shit about. But they're all they're all burning down. Vice and Vox and uh, like, I don't even know where the hell these sites are going to be in a year or two. But I think BuzzFeed is going to be done by the end of the year. Somebody will, somebody will buy it up dirt cheap. Disney will buy it. There we go. <laughs> I don't think he'll buy, buy BuzzFeed. He's not going to have money to buy anything. They're not going to have any money. Elon Musk could buy it. There you go. Uh, he sells sex toys or something on Twitter. So he could have he could have X and then he could have triple X. Which, there, which, oh, which, <laughs> yeah, that's which, actually, that's actually funny. Which actually that. just takes you over to BuzzFeed. And then, then and it's all vibrators. We'll put you in space. Yeah, BuzzFeed will send you to space. You know, send so you space. good. You feel like you're in space. Oh, my God. There we go, guys. You don't need to breathe up here. Anyway. It uses AI to, to sense your how you okay, want. Okay, okay. Let's just. We're going to wrap it up. I think we're going to wrap it up. They're going to wrap it up, too. They're, they're done. Uh, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.